so you defined your goals. They're super perfect. They kick you in the butt. They're hell your goals. They're measurable. And you even know your purpose. You know why you do it. And still you're like, wait a minute, it's March. What happened to January and February? What happened? Let me tell you what happened. You only looked forward, but never backward. By the way, I'm Edward McLean, bass player, composer, father of two. And today I want to talk to you in my lesson about the power of review. Yes, review, looking back. Looking back can actually help you tremendously to move forward. Let me walk you through a tiny exercise do that once a week it's not going to take you more than 10 or 20 minutes and it's very helpful so first of all as always as usual take pen and paper sit down and then please write down what you accomplished uh, in the last seven days i cleaned the house i worked i did this and that write it all down and then congratulate yourself I'm pretty sure on that list are a lot of things and just be like, please be like, wow, man, Whew, I did a lot of stuff. That's awesome, man. Awesome. And then next step, check if your accomplishments were in alignment with your goals, your visions, your dream, any of the accomplishments were they in alignment if not, please ask yourself, why did I not do it? Why did I not finish what matters most to me? Well, I guess most of you are going to say, man, I didn't have no time. My life is so damn busy. I have family. I have to make the cash flow happen and blah, 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 blah. Please, first of all, change your phrasing, your wording. Nobody wants to hear, I don't have no time, like some supernatural power came down and robbed your time. Please change your phrasing into, man, this week I did not make time to follow through on my most important goals. Or like, this week I did not even take 10 minutes to nurture my vision. All right, first big step. Now again, now you're again on the driver's seat. Next thing is, all right, obviously you did not take the time. What did you use your time for then? What did you do all day? It can be very helpful to log your time. There's a lot of apps out there which help you to do that. And do that for a week and I'm sure you will be pretty surprised what you spend your time on or with. And I'm sure you find some things you can get rid of and use that space for some greater stuff. All right, one thing. Next thing is you might want to make it easy on yourself. If your goals are like, okay, every day I'm going to meditate. Every day I'm going to work out. Every day I'm going to read. Whew, that's a lot. You have to change yourself, your routine a lot. So please make it easy. Say, every day I'm going to read one page, just one page. Or make it, every day I'm going to do one conscious breath, just one conscious breath. Or every day I'm going to do one push-up, one push-up. You might be like, wow, that sounds great doing my resume, my review. I did seven push-ups this week, but that's not the point. The point is every day you made the decision to work on your body or whatever it is, but you made it every day. You're making it a habit. And this is so helpful, accomplishing your goals to create a habit. All right. Next question or next thing is if you see you skipped your goals for a couple of weeks, really sit down and ask yourself, is that thing really that important to me? Is that really a priority? Is that my number one goal? If not, please remove it from your list. But beware, also this little monster called fear. 
might somewhere lurking might be somewhere there lurking and the only thing i can say about fear everything you want is on the other side of fear all right quick recap pretty easy take pen and paper and once a week take 10 minutes pen and paper write down what you accomplished all right that's all there is to it write down when you what you accomplished and then you might analyze it thanks a lot i'm edward mclean you were listening to my tiny lessons thanks a lot for taking the time bye bye Thank you.